All right, well, in some cases, it pays to break the rules. President Biden's new student loan bailout is a slap in the face to all parents and all students who actually took on extra jobs to pay for higher education. Plus, it doesn't change the fact that the cost of college is just too high. And now you won't believe what the White House is saying about this. What is the spin, Brian? Yeah, Press Secretary Corrine Jean-Pierre actually had the gall to say borrowers are owed relief. Listen. The Department of Education also released state-by-state -state data showcasing who stands to benefit from the third, from the over $39 billion in debt relief we announced last week for over 800,000 borrowers. These are borrowers who had been making payments for decades, but were never given the relief they were uh, promised. These borrowers are owed this relief. Joining us now is Bottom Line co-host Dagan McDowell. Okay, Dagan, they're owed yeah. relief. In the Biden White House, you are owed something that you did not earn mm. that is called welfare. It is a handout and it's a bailout. And it's not just people, individuals and families who paid their own way and paid back the debts that they took on knowingly and willingly. It is all of the Americans who never got the opportunity to go to college or chose not to go to college. And what has been going on with this administration is really shameful. Biden and company changed the rules as they see fit to reward those people they think are deserving. Mm. It's bribery. It is to mm -hmm. buy votes. Uh, you, the financially reckless graduates who cannot pay back these loans with these useless degrees and then denigrate, even punish those people who are responsible. And if you add up the numbers, so this $39 billion, uh, to just clarify what they did, they gave people credit for payments over the last roughly three and a half years that they never even made right. mm -hmm. in terms of paying back those loans that were, they, they canceled, this is part of the repayment plans. Also, during the pandemic, the zero, the student loan payment pause and 0% interest, which applied to every single person mm -hmm. with federal student loan debt, the rich, people who are doctors, lawyers, uh, investment bankers, right. That to in total, because people did not make any interest payments, and because when you're not making interest payments, you're inflating away the debt. The mm -hmm. underlying value of the debt is in the real uh, debt is inflated away by the inflation rate. If you add all that up over the last 41 months, that is a 419 billion dollar bailout for every single student loan yep. borrower. Yeah. So you got a neighbor who's been going off a doctor been going on a lot of extra trips. Right. Right. That's right. why. That's why. So that's a four hundred nineteen billion dollar bailout. The changes that they're making to the repayment plan, they're re reducing the uh, monthly payments required to five percent of discretionary income added up. That's an additional one trillion dollar wow. bailout. It is immoral yeah. and they know it. Yep. And they always talk about the root causes, Dagan. The root cause is that tuition is sky high because the mm -hmm. schools know that the government will give you these loans. And now with this added twist, well, they're going to forgive them too so they can just jack up tuition mm -hmm. even more than that we do want you to stay with us um so just hold right there because the biden administration cutting off funding to china's wuhan lab after it failed to provide details about safety and security fox business's grady trimble is with us and he's got the details hi grady hey jackie the biden administration says the wuhan lab didn't follow safety protocols and refused to hand over documents about those safety protocols to u.s government officials who are looking into the origins of the covid pandemic in a memo from the health and human services department announcing the suspension of funding to the lab it says the National Institutes of Health's conclusion that Wuhan Institute of Virology research likely violated protocols of the NIH regarding biosafety is undisputed. As such, there's risk that WIV, the lab, not only previously violated, but is currently violating and will continue to violate protocols of the NIH on biosafety. So Health and Human Services says the Wuhan lab won't get another dollar from the U.S. government. 
The lab already received, though, $1.4 million in U.S. grants between 2014 and 2019. Since the start of the pandemic, the lab has come under increased scrutiny because of the controversial gain-of-function research that's being done there and, of course, the suspicion that COVID may have leaked from that lab. The suspension of funding comes as we're learning several top scientists who publicly denied the lab leak theory actually believed it was possible, if not likely. That's according to new messages released by independent journalists Matt Taibbi, Michael Schellenberger, and two of their colleagues. These top scientists, the top advisors to Anthony Fauci, misled Congress last week when they claimed that what they were doing was science. The messages show they were engaged in politics. These government-funded scientists uh, waged a disinformation campaign, a propaganda campaign aimed at misleading the American people, and it worked. And then they demanded censorship of people who told the truth. Republicans say it's about time the Biden administration cut funding to the Wuhan lab. They say it's outrageous that it took as long as it did. Guys? Yeah, absolutely. Grady Trimble, thank you so much. Um, and Dagan, that soundbite was from your show last night with Schellenberger. What's amazing is we're talking about handouts here. Forget the handouts for a second. People are owed the truth. We have been lied to over the course of the pandemic and after about what happened in China. And the Democrats don't want to, they don't want to try to get to the bottom of it because they are afraid of what will be exposed, which is slowly coming out. I think the shocker here is the American people will look at this and say, our taxpayer dollars were still going to this Wuhan lab. Right. And this had not been This stopped. is still happening? Like, we just ended it now? Right. And what uh, Michael Schellenberger is talking about, um, these revelations, and I encourage everybody to go read mm. the work of Taibbi and Schellenberger and their co-authors. This was related to this seminal paper in Nature in March of 2020. One of the things that was said <laughs> by the authors, quote, the truth will never come out if lab escape is the truth. Yeah. So to step back, mm. if this came out of this virology lab in Wuhan, the American people funded the murder of more than a million Americans and millions more uh, around the globe. That's what's gone on here. And everything that's happening right now in this country is related to this virus coming to the United States, the financial strains that are on this nation, the fear equals control and control equals power, right. this kind of power grab that's happened by government, um, and the kind of ongoing fomenting of fear and the panic peddling that we see just to maintain that grip on control Ooh. and money. And as if that's not bad enough, you know, getting to the bottom of it, people want answers. They want to hold somebody accountable for what happened here. Yeah. They lost loved ones. Our economy, you know, has completely, you know, had to be rebuilt uh, to a certain extent. We may never rebuild it the same way. Children. How about the developmental damage, the psychological damage, and the permanent learning loss? Yeah. And again, the power grab based on fear mm -hmm. and the money grab based on fear by the teachers' unions, which is still worsening. Yeah. Incredible stuff. The fact that only just now, in 2023, they're finally saying no more mm. is complete political malpractice. Really shocking. Dagan, thanks for being with us. Always good to see you on set. Thank Don't you.